They had promised peaceful demonstration. But when confronted by people calling them racist, violence broke out in Melbourne. Policemen, women and horses forcibly separating those rallying against Islam from those condemning them as racist bigots. They have an issue with these people that they don't even understand. They just fear them. And as Australians, we're supposed to be a welcoming people. Just over three months ago, Martin Place in Sydney was filled with flowers laid in memory of those who died during the siege in a nearby cafe. On Saturday, this. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! That same square was chosen as the site for that city's anti-Islam protest. Uh, just the Muslims, you know, all around the world planning attacks, you know, like what happened here at Martin Place on December last year, saying no to, you know, no to, no to Islam and, you know, no to extremists here. 300 million extremist Muslims who are dedicated to the takeover and downfall of Western civilization. Sydney's had been expected to be the biggest protest in Australia but rain kept numbers down. Well, the terrible weather will undoubtedly have put off many, but there are still quite a few hundred people here who've come together in the rain to, in their words, reclaim Australia. In Brisbane, more flags and more rhetoric. There are those working close at hand who wish to destroy all that is Australian and our freedom. In each city where there was a protest, counter demonstrations were almost as large. Australia is not having a crisis, but the protests are a sign of fear and growing discontent. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.